Good morning and happy Thursday, First Friends Boys and Girls. Penny and Clifford here to read another story for you today. As you can see in the background, Penny's at school, starting to get ready to be open next Monday, August the 3rd. So excited, everyone. But let's get to our story. And of course, you all know how much I love Clifford. So we are going to read a Clifford story today. And today our story is... Clifford visits the hospital. Let's see what the story has to say. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is my dog Clifford. When he was a puppy, Clifford went to the hospital. There's Emily Elizabeth. Oh, look, when Clifford was smaller, he went to the hospital. Clifford wasn't sick. He went accidentally. My grandmother was in the hospital, and my mom made some cookies for her. Clifford loves cookies. When we weren't looking, he jumped into the basket. I probably would have, too. There we go. He jumped in the basket. <laughs> At the hospital, Grandma thanked us for the treat, then she said she'd like something to read while she munched a cookie. So Mom and I went down to the gift shop to get her a magazine. There's Grandma. They're there visiting her. They brought her cookies. But now she wants something to read. And do you see how excited she is to see Clifford? What a surprise! Grandma loved having Clifford come to visit her, but dogs are not allowed in the hospital. Suddenly, Grandma heard footsteps. The nurse was coming. What would the nurse do when she saw Clifford? Oh, so excited to see Clifford. Uh-oh, she hears footsteps. I bet she hides him. Luckily, the nurse didn't see him. He was too small. The nurse had come to check Grandma's pulse and take her temperature. They do that a lot in hospitals. Look, he's hiding down there. Do you all see? And the nurse didn't see him. Thank goodness. To Clifford, the thermometer looked like a stick of peppermint candy. Ugh, that was not candy. It tasted like medicine. <laughs> Clifford thought it was candy, but it was medicine. Silly Clifford. Ugh. Grandma didn't have a chance to tell the nurse that a dog had just licked the thermometer. Yuck. The nurse had to give Grandma a shot. That's when Clifford decided to leave. He hates needles. Yeah, boys and girls, I'm not too fond of shots either. How about you? Clifford jumps off the bed. Ooh, doesn't want anything to do with needles. Clifford zigzagged through people's feet in the busy hallway. He sped around a corner and dashed through an open door. And nobody saw him because he was so little and everybody was so busy working. Oh, the children were amazed to see a small red puppy in the hospital. The children had lots of fun playing with Clifford. Clifford was having fun, too. And then... Oh, all the kids were so excited to see Clifford. Uh. Some girls started to dress him up like a doll. Clifford couldn't wait to get out of there. Clifford didn't want to get dressed up like a doll, did he, boys and girls? Oh, I love it. Clifford takes a run for it. <laughs> oh, Clifford is so silly. Clifford was in such a hurry, he didn't look where he was going. I know. What a mess. Oh, no, boys and girls. Oh, the man tripped over him and knocked over all of the trays of food. Oh, no. One of the children came to the rescue. 
He found a nice, safe place for Clifford. <laughs> One of the children helped get Clifford out of that mess and found a nice, safe place for Clifford. The sign on the bed, boys and girls, reads, Baby Horn. Oh, no, they must be in the baby nursery. Clifford liked the nursery. He kept very still. A proud new father came to the window and asked to see his beautiful baby. Uh-oh. <laughs> Clifford's very still. Probably nice and cozy, isn't he? Boys and girls taking a rest after playing with all those kids. And a dad came in to see the new baby. And uh-oh, what does he see but Clifford? Oh, that's not his baby. <sighs> That's not my little boy, the father said. Everyone was upset. A nurse rushed out to find the man's real baby. The baby had been with his mother all along. Just then, Mom and I came back from the gift shop. We told the nurse and doctor that we would take Clifford home right after we said goodbye to Grandma. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Doctor and the nurse are handing Clifford back to Mom and Emily Elizabeth. Oh, no. <sighs> Grandma was sorry that Clifford couldn't stay, but she was happy with the new dog we found for her in the gift shop. This one wouldn't run away. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Now, Clifford goes to the hospital from time to time to visit his friends and make them feel better. Good old Clifford. He's so good, isn't he? Yes, now he can't go in the hospital, can he, boys and girls? No, he's too big. Oh, I love Clifford. He's a great dog, isn't he? I do. I love him. And Clifford will be here next week when you all come back to school. I'll have him sitting there on the table so you can say hi to him. Boys and girls, I hope all of you have a great day. I love each one of you so much, and I'm so excited that the school is going to be reopening next week. So, have a great day. Tell your mom and dad I love you, and we look forward to seeing you one more time tomorrow. So, for now, Clifford and Penny say bye-bye.